top of the hill on the left is Prospect House. This was opened as the offices of the Eastern Counties newspapers in 1970. The sculpture near the entrance is called Public Sculpture and is by Bernard Meadows. Heading down Cattle Market Street, the first building on the right is the Old Drill Hall and next to that, inspired some say by the Great Exhibition of 1851, is Crystal House, built by Holmes and Sons to display their steam engines. Keeping left, the ornate frontage of the car park was once part of the Duke's Palace Bridge. When Duke Street was widened in 1972, the listed ironwork was saved and installed here in 1992. The Shire Hall Chambers were built in 1907 and have the Norfolk Crest clearly on the side of the building. Castle Gardens were created in the ditch of the Castle Mott during the late 1840s and extended and modified at various times in the 20th century. The Whiffler Theatre was given to the city by the EDP group in 1982. A Whiffler was someone who cleared a path for a procession. The Castle Bridge is the oldest bridge in Norwich, being Norman in origin, although restored in the 1830s. Construction of the present keep of Norwich Castle began around 1094 and was completed in 1121. It was originally intended as a royal palace rather than a fortification, but the only monarch to stay here was Henry I. Between 1220 and 1887 the castle was used as a jail, after which it was converted by the city council into a museum. Opened in 1894, Norwich Castle Museum is noted for the galleries containing work by the artists of the Norwich School. It also houses the largest collection of British ceramic teapots in the world. The Bell Hotel dates from the late 15th century and later became one of the main coaching inns for the city. White Lion Street, now named after a public house, was originally Saddle Rare Row, the street of saddle makers. Whilst back of the inns is named quite literally because it ran behind a number of inns that fronted gentlemen's walk. The Royal Arcade was designed by the significant Norwich architect George Skipper in 1899 and stands on the site of the former Royal Hotel. The back of the inn's entrance is in the Art Nouveau style, whilst at the other end, Skipper maintained the facade of the Royal Hotel, which had been rebuilt in 1846. Norwich Market is the largest all-week open market in England with over 190 stores. Originally sited in Tombland, the market moved to the present site after the Norman Conquest. Edward III granted franchise of the market to the city authorities in 1341. By the late 1930s, the area had become rather run down and shabby and was redesigned. City Council has continued to remodel and redesign and improve facilities throughout the 20th and 21st centuries. The Guildhall was the biggest civic hall outside London when it was completed in 1453. The East End was rebuilt in the 16th century and features a fine example of flint checkerboard designs. City Hall was opened in 1938 by George VI. It includes a fine Art Deco interior and one of the longest civic balconies and the largest clock bell in the country. In 2011, the Memorial Gardens were reopened after major refurbishment, which included the War Memorial by Sir Edward Lutyens being turned to face the City Hall and the installation of Breath by Paul de Monsieur behind. By the late 17th century, Gentleman's Walk had become established as a promenade area for the gentry with coaching inns, high-class shops and coffee houses. The 
The Sagarnet was established as a public house around 1860, before which it had been a butcher's and earlier a medieval meeting hall. The Haymarket contains a statue of Sir Thomas Brown, a 17th century author, physician and academic who lived close by. The area, once a grassy open space, was redesigned in the 1970s with water features which have since been removed. St Peter's is the largest of the Norwich churches and was founded as one of three built in the new French borough. The present building was consecrated in 1455. The church has a strong musical tradition with choirs, organ and a ring of 14 bells, hosting many recitals and a regular rotor of song services. The Forum was the major millennium project in the east of England and was built on the site of the former city library, which was destroyed by fire in 1994. The building is home to BBC East and Radio Norfolk Studios and the City Library which contains the Second Air Division Memorial Library. The Old City Fire Station was converted to form the Sir Isaac and Newton Sixth Form College, a free school, in 2013. The Bethel Hospital was the first purpose-built asylum outside of London. The approach to patients was compassionate and way ahead of the prevailing ideas of the time. The hospital closed in 1995 and parts of it have been converted to residential use. 42 to 48 Bethel Street, a former print works, is presently used as a cafe and gallery run by the Greenhouse Trust. The majority of the facade dates from the late 1800s with a 20th century shop front on the left hand side, but the building contains an important 15th century undercroft. The parish of St Giles is referred to in Doomsday, and today the parish church is at the heart of a thriving community. At 120 feet, the tower is the tallest in the city, and the church stands on the highest ground within the city walls. Churchman House was built by the family of the same name, who were wealthy worsted weavers. The frontage of the house dates from 1751, and it has been described by architectural historian Richard Hewlings as possibly the best Georgian provincial townhouse in England. Chapelfield North contains some excellent examples of Georgian properties. Field Gardens were opened as a park in 1880, and prior to this the area was used as a burial ground for the Great Plague, and in 1792 the Norwich Water Company built a reservoir on the site. The present Theatre Royal dates from 1935, and after a period of use as a cinema, the City Council rescued the building in 1967 and began a refurbishment programme. Various modernisation projects since have helped maintain the theatre as one of the best regional venues in the country. The Assembly House was designed by local architect Thomas Ivory and built in 1754 as a centre for entertainment and meetings for the local gentry. It has hosted exhibitions by Madame Tussaud and a concert by Liszt. The West Wing, known as the Nevers Suite, contains one of the largest function rooms in the city and for a time was used as a cinema. St Stephen's Church has a wide variety of architectural styles, with sections of the building dating from between the middle of the 14th century to the early 1600s. The church is still in use and since the opening of the Chapelfield Shopping Centre, the churchyard has become a thoroughfare, resulting in more visitors. Marks and Spencers on the right and Debenhams on the left dominate the lower part of Rampentour Street. Opposite Debenhams on Red Lion Street are two buildings by George Skipper. The Bank, now Barclays, but originally Norfolk and Suffolk Savings Bank, and the smaller commercial chambers with the seated scribe modelled on Skipper himself above the window of the curved gable. Music 
Next to these stands Orford Yard, which was designed and built in 1902 by Edward Boardman as a veterinary surgeon and livery stables. Many original features can still be seen in the rear yard. The Bullards Brewery Anchor is clearly visible on the front of the Anchor Buildings, commissioned by Bullards in the early 1900s. At the far end stood the Orford Arms Pub, the site of the famous Orford Cellar. site of the main city synagogue. The earliest reference to an inn trading here was 1574. Orford Hill was originally known as the Swine Market and maintained an association with pigs until the name changed to commemorate the grandson of Robert Walpole, the third Earl of Orford. The stag adorns the top of the former gunsmith's darlows. The name Timber Hill derives from the medieval timber market that was situated at the junction with Burr Street. With the development of Castle Mall, the street has had to accommodate old and new architectural styles. The Lion and Castle Yard contains a row of 17th century weaver's cottages one of which retains a thatched roof. Wesselgate Tower was built in 1959 as an office block, but during the early 2000s became derelict and a noted city eyesore. It was redeveloped in 2014 and has become a sought-after address in the city. St John the Baptist, Timber Hill, is the parish church for an area covering the original parishes of five medieval churches stretching from Prince's Wales Road to Brackendale. The tower fell in 1784 and was replaced by the current stone turret in 1877.